Now today's video, I'm going to be talking about James Hampton. Now I know you guys heard the crazy news that happened to James Hampton a couple of days ago at the Nike Elite Basketball League. And I just want to talk to you guys about this situation and just explain to you guys the entire full story on what actually happened. Now first, if you don't know who James Hampton is, he's a basketball player that played for Team United. Also, he was approaching his senior year in high school and he was attending Liberty Heights Athletic Institute. Okay, so during this past week, his team was attending the Nike Elite Basketball League and on Saturday, they was going against his team called Nike Family, who was ran by Marvin Bagley III's father. So this was a big game, but this wasn't their only game just because they had more games throughout the weekend because it's a tournament. Okay, so during the game, everything was going well throughout the first half, but then the second half, that's when everything happened. Now, the Team United director, Jacoby Davis, he was the one that was watching everything. He was watching James Hampton and all that stuff. And when he saw James Hampton fall, he didn't see him fall right away. He literally was talking to the ref. Then right when he got done talking to the ref, he looked to the other side of the court and he saw James Hampton. He was on the ground and they said that his eyes was rolled back and everything. So they thought he was unconscious just because he did suffer some seizures last year. So it's just like he already had some problems last year and stuff and the team is already aware of that. So that's why they thought that, you know, he was just unconscious and stuff like that. Even though it's still a big deal, even if you're unconscious on the court, that's still a big deal because you can die from that. But they didn't think that it was really that serious to the point where this man actually died on the court and nobody even realized he was dead just because you know they just thought he was having a seizure so once they came to find out that he was not moving at all they called the athletic trainers and everybody and they came to check and see if he had a post but he didn't have no post at all so this man was literally dead so they called the emergency call they got the ambulance to come and get him and take him straight to the hospital the hospital wasn't even that far away from the gym it was only like less a mile away from the gym so the hospital was very very close but unfortunately he died right away so it's just like it is a crazy situation nobody really even know what happened and what caused him to just faint and just fall out and die right on the floor like i said they already knew he had seizures and stuff a year ago but this is the thing he played a lot of basketball games since then, so nobody really expected him to actually fall on the court and just die like that. Nobody expected that at all, just because he played so many games after those Caesars. And, you know, this happened to a G League player called Zeke Upshaw. He literally fainted on the floor. He was running, he just straight fainted, and he died straight on the floor. So you just never know what happened and you just don't know when things like this is going to happen and it's just so sad because I just feel so bad for him he literally was a good basketball player he had a offer from Hampton University and it's crazy to me because he had an offer from a college that's his last name literally the college is called Hampton University and his last name is Hampton so I just think that's just so crazy and literally he was on his grind he was on a mission he wanted to make it and he was just doing very very good for his age and you know it's just so upsetting to see something like this happen to this kid when he had no control over it he really had no control over it all he wanted to do was play basketball and he just died on the court it's just so rare for something like this to happen it's just so upsetting just happened just because they found a tweet that he made a year ago and he said family depending on me can't stop now in a couple years it won't be section 8 living so basically what he's saying is his family is depending on him and he's working hard to make it to the league so he can get his family out the projects like he was literally on a mission this man was on a mission he was grinding every day he was working hard every day to get his family out the projects you know just help his family live better and all you can do is salute him for even making that tweet just because he's not the only one there's so many other kids that have the same mindset and they're trying so hard to help their family get out the living they're in so it's just so upsetting and I just feel so bad for his family and his friends and his teammates just because he didn't deserve it. Nobody deserves this at all. Nobody deserves to have to go through some pain like this. And it's just not fair because he just had no control over this. So I send my prayers out to his family, his friends, and all of everybody that supported him and everybody. It's just so devastating even talking about this situation just because you never know when your time is coming. You literally never know when your time is coming. And you just always got to stay close to God because you just never know when he wants you. He can just bring you out this world anytime he wants. 
So just like you always got to live every single day to the fullest, man, and always stay close to God. But I think you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press that notification button. TK Gang, we out.